Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Suyobi Noniko Belgian style white ale. Total mouthful. So this is a Japanese uh, Belgian style white ale. Um, it translates to Wednesday cat in American. There's a lot of text on the back, but it's in Japanese, so you're out of luck on that one. So this is uh, brewed in Nagano, which held an Olympics, I think in, what, like 98 or 96 or something like that? I think it was 98. I'm not 100% on that either, but I remember that. I remember sitting aside and watching the Olympics in Nagano, and it was like, the city of lights, oh, it was huge. It was a big deal. Belgian style white ale made for your over the hump day. Product of Japan, brewed and canned by Yoho Brewing Company, Nagano, Japan. Exclusively imported by K, what? K-I-A-I, -I, Seattle, Washington. 5%, um, and that's it. Belgian style white ale. The can art, <laughs> it looks like a quilt that a five-year-old would knit where every piece of the cat's face is a different color and a different texture. He's got these crazy ears. The whiskers aren't even attached to his face in the front. Looks like a fourth grader drew it. <laughs> but on the back, look, it has this moon and then the beer, and it kind of reminds me of uh, like a blue moon. Yeah. I mean, it's very reminiscent. So we should be getting some, some coriander, some banana esters, um, I'm guessing. Some, some slight uh, orange. orange peel. Yeah. Definitely getting the sweetness of the orange peel. I get those esters, those, those definite yeast characteristics. Those are very prominent. And some banana. This is a 5% beer. Yeah. Light. Small and it looks delicious. like it too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be pretty light. Ready? I'm ready. It's probably refreshing. Cheers. It's uh, it's really light in body, like really, really light. I think maybe it's a coriander seed. What about it? It's it's different. It's not as pronounced. Like there's more. I feel like there's more coriander rather than that clovey taste that right. you usually get. Um, typically in these styles, and, and something I don't like so much is the fact that they use a lot of clove. And to me, that's a turnoff. I just don't like the flavor of clove. Um, uh, this one seems to be kind of balancing it a little bit better than most. I really like how much banana is, is in there. Like, that's really forward. I like me banana forward wheat beers, like um, the Star Hill, the Love. It's mm. one of my favorite wheat beers just because it's so banana-y. Yeah, I'm getting that coriander and it's nice. It's like the second or third note I get in there. It's quite nice, actually. Mm. There's not a whole ton of carbonation in this one. Um, and I think that lends to its ease of drinkability. Light bodied, refreshing Belgian style white ale. Yeah, this would be really good in the spring. I would pick some of yeah. this up for sure. Even in the summertime, it'd be quite good. It'd be even better in the summer. It's so uh, just crushably easy drinking. That's the first time I saw it was in that bottle shop in uh, Dominion. And I had to have it because it looks so crazy. And we also have a cat and it looks somewhat vaguely like this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me food! Meow. And the fact that it's Japanese, I've just never seen anything quite like this before. And we have never had a Japanese beer on the channel and we're about to have another one after this one. So that'll be interesting to compare the two and see how Japan brews beer. I think it's cool. I, we like some Sapporo. I mean, when we're eating fish and stuff like that, Sapporo is great, it's refreshing. It's a good beer, but uh, having like an actual craft beer is, out of Japan is really cool. Yeah. That's a really cool thing. Uh, I've noticed that it doesn't have the, you know, the American independent brewers logo, obviously because they're not in America, but I mean, it's, it's weird nowadays not to see that because it's so, it's on everything, you know? Yeah. It is kind of interesting to to find out that the Japanese are creating craft beer just like we are here in the States. They probably got inspired by it. 
Yeah. And I think um, talking to my buddy Jack in Japan, who, who lives there, who's lived there for like over a decade now, or close to a decade, I think. Um, he was saying that like, yeah, like the, the mentality is kind of shifting away from that fizzy sort of yellow beer and more into, you know, the, well, the people that drink beer instead of sake and like uh, hard liquor. But it is shifting a little bit more into that crafty arena and they're looking towards Americans and, and Germanic states uh, to kind of forward that progress. So it's kind of interesting to see them, you know, doing stuff like this. Yeah, overall, yeah. I like it. It's a really delicate, easy drinking beer. Wednesday Cat's got a cool name. Um, it's, you know, fairly true to the style, I would think. It's just, it's good. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon accounts linked in the description below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. No Nico. <laughs> Nagano. 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 Hey! Yeah.